Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome back to another episode of our custom card creation for a FIFA 07 had ultimate team. We've got more BPL players today. Now, of course, FIFA 07 did not have Ultimate Team. Just letting you guys know that. I'm sure you know it by now. But in this video, that is what I'll, I will create. Custom cards based on the stats of the players from FIFA 07. And if you do enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash that like button. Because these take a little while to make. And there's quite a bit of editing and all that good stuff that goes into it. So, our first player of today is Joe Cole. Now, not an exactly a great player these days. He's got a silver 74 rated card. Plays for Villa. Right midfield. But in FIFA 07, if he had an ultimate team card, it would have been pretty freaking epic. 87 rated overall card, a left midfielder, which is nice because he's right footed. He could cut on in and take that shot with his right foot. Now, his stats would be phenomenal. 85 pace and 90 dribbling. That's ridiculous. As well as 81 shot and 79 passing. He is like a regular day sort of, I don't know, it's kind of like a Sherlock card mixed with a little bit of Royce and stuff like that. It would be an epic card and an epic one in the BPL as well. So, that was Joe Cole. The second player we've got today is actually a current legend on FIFA Ultimate Team. That is Andrei Shevchenko. Um, he has got an 88 rated legend card, which is actually a really solid card. Lots of great stats. But in FIFA 07, he would have had the exact same rating. So, what it seems like is that his heyday must have been in around 2007. Uh, because EA tend to make these legend cards based on the best uh, possible time that these players were around. Now, Shevchenko actually looks better on the 07 card because he's got slightly better pace. His dribbling and shooting are exactly the same. Uh, but things like his physical are way higher on this card. So, better physical, better pace. I know I would prefer to have the one from FIFA 07, that's for sure. He even though that legend card is actually a pretty solid card to use on ultimate team. Now, the next player we've got today is Iron Robin. Now, he's in his prime right now. 90 rated card on FIFA 15. What happens when we go back a few years to 2007? Well, actually, he was playing for Chelsea back then and he was 88 rated. So, still a very high rating, but not as high as he is right now. As you can see, he had considerably more hair as well, which is uh, <laughs> quite strange to see like that. He had, he had the pace. And he had the dribbling. But look at that difference in shooting stat right there. 86 shooting on FIFA 15. Only 72 on FIFA 07. That's crazy. And he was also a left midfielder as well. So he's better to get the ball down the wing and cross it in. But I would much prefer that FIFA 15 one. Simply because he's on the right hand side. He can cut it in. And he can shoot. Next up we've got a modern day legend. I love this man. It is Paul Scholes. Now the last time we saw Scholes on a FIFA was FIFA 13. He had an 81 rated card pretty average stats apart from this passing but i tell you what if they ever made a legend card which looks like this for skullsy i would pay top dollar for it absolutely crazy stats look at it the lowest run right there is 74 pace but the rest of them dribbling shooting passing defending and physical are all absolutely awesome 80 plus rating uh, and actually those stats on an 86 rated card would be very very overpowered he should have a higher rating than that one of the gods of the bpl all-time great i love a little bit of skullsy and i would love a legend card of him as well next up we've got steven gerrard someone that's obviously still playing for Liverpool and he's going to move on at the end of this season um, and he is a Liverpool legend let's face it in FIFA 15 he's got an 82 rated but back in the day FIFA 07 he was one of the greatest centre midfielders of all time in that game right 88 rated card uh, 88 pace look at this I mean this card is next level it's basically the same as Lampard's you know Lampard had a ridiculous card as well um, but 80 plus club you know he's got everything at least above 80 and he's got shooting and physical of 90 and 91. Redonkulous. Absolutely crazy stats. Imagine that card on this year's FIFA. How much would it go for? Let me know down below in the comment section. We've got one player left and it is King Thierry Henry. Nowadays it pains me to see a 79 rated version of this guy because he I remember him back in the heyday and he was this good. FIFA 07 Henry was 91 rated. Now just take a look at those stats right there. There's three important ones for a striker. Pace, dribbling, and shooting. And he has got them in absolute tons. Just look at the stats. 92 pace and dribbling. 
And 90 shooting as well. Oh my god. King Henri would have absolutely wiped the floor with defenses back in the day. Alright, picture this as a legend card right now. How much would it go for on FIFA 15? Let me know. Would it be straight up 15 million coins? I think it probably would because there's a lot of love for Thierry Henry out there. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, guys, please don't forget to smash a like on it. Seriously, I'd really appreciate it. Let's try and hit 2,000 likes on this one, shall we? Um, so those were the other BPL cards that I wanted to show you. Do you want to see some more Serie A? Would you like me to move over to the Bundesliga? Maybe do a nation like Brazil or something like that? Let me know down below. I will dictate it based on what you guys want to see. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time guys. Peace.